Dawson's Rentals. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a quick little Toku Sentai Rider scans news update. I haven't done one of these in a while. I kind of felt like doing it. It sounded like fun. Nothing super groundbreaking. Just kind of talking about the pictures we got of the scans. Uh, largely focusing on, for Sentai, uh, the debut of Yusou Gold, which we've known about for a while. Just getting our kind of clearer shots of stuff. Um, we know that he's going to be coming from a sort of, not like lost or separated, underground, uh, or underground, underwater tribe from, you know, the Ryu soldiers, which is kind of like similar in a way to the way the green and black split off, but he was like, they're kind of, you know, they split off a long time ago and kind of, basically Aquaman, but like not as cool. Like, it's not Cal Drogo, it's just Ta Cal Nogo. So basically that's what that's focusing on. Uh, Geo primarily focusing on the official look at Grand Geo, his final form, because we weren't supposed to know about it yet, just like Trinity, but we've known about it for a while. Couple other little tidbits. So that's what's going to be in this video. I mean, so we basically just have some clear shots of the suit. There was one that came out a little bit before the scans, um, showing off just him standing there and it looked a little bit pale, which was worrying, kind of like the way the Dino Charge ones do, um, or the Ninja Steel golds, golds, they look like just urine or just like a like a cardboard box but it seems like he's actually going to be gold looking i do like the suit um there's something kind of interesting that i realized that from the early pictures we got of this guy like uh you know the scans that came out like even before Ryu soldier really debuted it looked like he had two different helmets because they advertised his regular form and then this armored form which looks really cool i do dig it i think it looks awesome and the way it was shot it looked like he got a different helmet when he had this golden armor, but I don't think that's the case because looking at some of the photos, I think that the way they angled it is like just his, his helmet was angling down like this when they had the armor shots, making it look a little bit different, a little more Solaris Knight-ish. Like this first photo, um, I put it up, but I'll go back to it. Um, like you can see the helmet angled down looks a lot more similar to the one from the armored one, and I mistook them from for different helmets. I'm the dumbest boy in school. So, but now I'm a little disappointed that we're not getting a different helmet because I remember when I saw these, like the regular suit, I'm like, that's cool, but it looks kind of plain. And then we saw the armored one with what looked like a cooler helmet. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I'm into that. So it's kind of disappointing that I was such an idiot. I mean, just in general, but about this specifically. Um, because, I mean, I do like the helmet. I think the helmet's the thing I like most about the suit. Everything else is basically the same, just with like, a, the navy color instead of the black or the silver, excuse me, and then like he's got sh slightly sparklier um, like cuffs around his, almost his, this is his boots and then these are his gloves on his feet, but you know what I mean. So I'm a little disappointed by how bland it is. A couple people have pointed out that they probably kept him a little more bland to really accentuate the way that the armor power up looks. Which, I feel like they could have had the best of both worlds Hannah Montana style, but they just decided to do, you know, not Hannah Montana. So I'm a little disappointed at how basic he looks on his own, just so they can sell the power up. We do have a look at, uh, you know, the guy that's going to be playing him in this sort of elegant Omega Ranger colored robes. Uh, look at the gun changer again, his little saw weapon, um, how all that works, him fighting around and stuff like that. Him crouching with the weapon, you know how it is. Um, just, you know, kind of the, the huge for these scans. Like, hey look, here's the ranger fighting and how his stuff works. And here's the cool armor and the, the ranger key, the ranger soul. Um, stuff like that. It shows off a little bit of him fighting with Ryu Soul Red with the armor that's just about to debut. Um, some better looks at his mecha. We got some a uh, little bit of a better look outside of the toy photos a little while back. And I really do dig this mecha a lot. I think it looks really badass. I'm, I'm actually really excited excited for the toy, but the, the in-show shots look cool. Um, teasing the return of Geizorg and stuff like that and all the team coming together. So yeah, nothing too new, just some, some better looks. I'm still very meh on Ryu Soldier, but at least the Six Ranger debut is kind of something to look forward to. At the very least, I like the look of his mech and I'm looking forward to getting it. Now we have Grand Geo, which we got a little while back. We have this sort of almost it almost looks like a flower blooming for the, the ride watch that transforms into this. But it's basically one of those forms where they take the gimmick and they're like, let's just put them all over him like a bunch of growths. Except his gimmick is other riders. So it's basically like a bunch of those Burger King Pokemon faceplates for all the riders. I'm usually not too into those forms. Those feel more like a funny form that should be done in like a Hyper Battle DVD. But I have to say, seeing the in-person shots... It does look a little cooler than I thought it would. 
I still wish it wasn't like the little pictures of the writers. Like I think it would have been maybe cooler with like their logos, like embroidered in gold maybe or something. I, I didn't notice in the early shots, which are basically just a sketch, that it's got like the secondary white color um, kind of you know, opposing homageos for like the the helmet, which I think actually looks kind of cool. And like the gold and black on the main suit um, looks a little more homageo-esque so that this is like the light alternative to homageo. I just think it's disappointing because I think homageo looks so cool and then this is like a hodgepodge of growths. But I think it looks a little bit better. Like it grew on me a little bit. I'm still not the biggest fan of it. Um, but it looks a little bit better. Like, Trinity kind of grew on me too, so I'll, I think it'll also depend on how it looks in action for me and how the intro goes. And he can kind of summon other writers and versions of their forms to attack, which, you know, that's kind of what DK Complete did. But what's cool is, like, we see him using different forms. Like, he's got Kuga Pegasus, uh, Suica Arms, Got to Kiri Ba. I think that's kind of neat. Rather than it just being final forms or main forms, like, he's seemingly can use um, a lot of the other things in their arsenal. Teasing some Deno, I think Deno tribute -y stuff, we got the Imogens there, they have to pop up and everything. Honestly, I'm kind of excited for that because I like Deno. They did a pseudo Deno tribute in the Hensei Generations Forever. Um, well, you know, it basically was the Deno tribute, but I like that we're getting something in the show, um, which is kind of neat. Uh, Ginga Waz, which we've already seen, obviously. Um, a Joker ride watch. Teasing the Kabuto arc, I'm not going to talk about that too much because we're like already in it, so it's not even news. Um, something that came out a couple days ago that they're expanding on a bit too is um, the Overcourtser movie is going to have these three movie writers, which are three different writers that are hodgepodges of um, the writers that were in the Hesse generation that weren't that didn't get official series like. Zio, not to be confused with Geo, um, the Amazons series and stuff like that. I really do like the idea of that. I'm still praying we don't get any Showa writers at all in this. Like, this is a Heisei celebration, not Showa. So I, I like this idea, though, of these ones because they're from the Heisei era. They just didn't get proper seasons. I think I like the Amazon ones the most. I think that looks really neat. I wish they didn't all have Jiku drivers. Like, they're really just overusing that between the future riders and stuff. But I do like the idea of those, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, you got another shot of showing off that Omageo, or Omageo, new Omageo, uh, Geo Grand can use all these different forms and stuff like that, or summon them. Um, some more shots of the suit with all the ride watches. Kind of shows the, uh, picture showing the evolution of here's Geo 2, Trinity. I like how it's like, it's like an evolution, and then we just made a bunch of hodgepodges of all three riders and then everyone, and I don't know, I still would have preferred something that was more like the light side opposite of Omageo without making it so collage -y. It's like a, they just like to collage and stuff like that. But that was pretty much it. Nothing too groundbreaking. I think the most new information was just the clear, sh clearer shots of Grand Geo. But so yeah, I just felt like kind of talking about it because I haven't done one of these in a while. I'm looking at least forward to seeing if Reusol Gold can inject some excitement into the show. And, um, you know, the Geo stuff's here or there. I, like I said, I kind of like Grand Geo a little bit more after seeing it. It still wouldn't have been my ideal choice, but maybe it'll grow on me. Like, Trinity kind of grew on me a little bit. Like, I've kind of grown to like it, but the, I liked the way it debuted, so that kind of helped, and I liked the way that the the functions with all three of them, and the way that the, almost said the lock scene functions, the ride watch functions. So maybe it'll win me over with that. But anyway, that's about it for this one. I will keep you guys updated. Hopefully the next one actually has some exciting new, new Toku news. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell to get notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.